Hey everybody, welcome to Fantasy r and I'm your host Ryan and this episode is Breakout NFL Team of 2021. This is Fantasy with Rob and Ryan, Fantasy r and Alright, and this might surprise a few people, but again, I'm not trying to take the low-hanging fruit. I'm going with the Washington football team. That's right, this team went 7-9 and nine and somehow made the playoffs in the 2020 NFL East, battling against terrible teams like Dallas, Philadelphia, and the New York Giants. They actually had a chance to beat Tampa in that first game with their ridiculous defensive line, but alas, they were a little bit too much for Washington to handle, especially with Alex Smith not being able to make the start. A lot of things are going to change this season. This is a team to keep your eye on. Alex Smith was unfortunately just recently released. He asked for his release from the team. Ron Rivera okayed it. Seemed like there were some bad feelings between Alex Smith and the Washington football team. He claims that Washington didn't actually want him to recover and come back from his injury. They kind of saw it as a way to get out of the contract and just start anew with younger QBs. But we also noticed that they had to part ways with Dwayne Haskins Jr. over the strip club incident without the mask. So we know they're looking for a QB no matter what was going to happen uh, going forward in this season. So right now, it leaves him with Taylor Heineke as maybe their obvious starter if they have to rely on one of their younger guys. Kyle Allen is a free agent, but should be coming back to the team. He's also a viable starter based off of his performance or lack thereof sometimes with Carolina. Um, it would be interesting if they went with either one of those guys. I don't think that's going to happen, but uh, let me provide some examples of why I think they can make an upgrade and, and jump up in the rankings for the 2021 season. Obviously, there's guys like Teddy Bridgewater out there who could be signed pretty easily. I don't think that's going to be their answer to a very successful season or depth at the the playbook. Um, He plays it a little safe. Tyrod Taylor's the same way. I kind of look at them as the same quarterback. I don't think that's going to work out. Sam Darnold, it's hard to tell what's going to happen with him. Also, I think he's going to be a little bit of an iffy signing. And I've heard that they try to trade for Marcus Mariota, but he has kind of an undesirable contract that could leave them paying him a whole lot of money even after a mediocre performance. Um, so the one guy I think they should actually target, hear me out here, Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's done a great job with pretty much every team he's been on, has gotten some wild wins and great statistics no matter who he's playing with or the coaches or what kind of dumpster fire an organization is running uh, the team at that particular time. Ryan Fitzpatrick is a veteran quarterback that Washington should go after. He started the Dolphins off to a great run. He might have been able to help finish him off until they put Tua in. I think this is the guy they need to go after. With that being said, they are going to have pick number 19 in the first round. Be a little difficult for them to trade up, um, but let's say they get lucky. This could be offensive tackle from Virginia Tech. Christian Derisaw. Again, if they get lucky, um, this would be a great signing for them to help add some depth at offensive line and really push what I think is a developing run game for Washington. It would also help Ryan Fitzpatrick uh, stay away from some bad sacks, and this is going to help him gunsling a little bit. And the guys he'd be gunslinging too, that's the question. I mean, we obviously are hoping Terry McLaurin's going to be totally healthy to start this season. Logan Thomas has looked like a great addition at tight end. I think he's going to have a big breakout season, uh, even if you consider this last one a breakout season. And there's a couple of guys I think they could target here. Maybe Allen Robinson coming out of Chicago or Curtis Samuel if uh, the Panthers decide just to let him walk. These could this could really be a great receiving core and on top of that you got a good run game right now with the pass catcher JD McKissick and this bruiser Antonio Gibson had a little bit of turf toe at the end of last season but I think he's going to be able to turn this next season in one of those monster Nick Chubb like statistical productions keep your eye on this guy he's been really surprising and of course their defense I think this is going to be the breakout defense of 2021 this could be top five defense all you guys do in your fantasy picks If you've got a dynasty league where they're just sitting out there and you've got someone like, you know, the Seahawks sitting on your roster, drop them, go pick up Washington. I am telling you, this is going to be my breakout defense for this year. Just like I uh, was thinking Tampa Bay um, for this previous season. And in the middle of the season, Rob started to really get high on um, the Miami Dolphins. So we've seen a couple of these teams really bust out at the right time. And we're hoping this pick's going to be correct too. You've just got so many... Great players uh, that are young. Chase Young, absolute monster. Deron Payne. I mean, this front line is going to be nuts. Jonathan Allen, Montez Sweat. It's going to be really difficult for a lot of these teams that they go up against to get any kind of uh, momentum going from their quarterbacks and run game with this front four. I think that they could provide 
a real problem for a lot of the NFL. Uh, I'm sorry, the NFC East. And I think, you know, Dak Prescott, he's not even exactly going to have an easy path to victory in some of these Washington games. And that goes for teams like Philadelphia and the New York Giants as well. I don't think New York Giants are going to be able to make as many changes as they want to to be a productive competitive team this year and i think you could go ahead and mark those off as wins for washington on this schedule the rest of the schedule is a little tough but i'm thinking that nine and seven is totally possible here and they're probably going to walk over the falcons maybe the panthers but maybe not dallas cowboys i think they got to win denver broncos i think they got to win packers are obviously going to be one of their losses but you know, a couple of times they're gonna be playing the Giants. Those are gonna be wins. I think they can beat Las Vegas in Las Vegas. And uh, I'm also very aware that that the front section of their schedule is a lot easier than the remaining games. So teams like New Orleans, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Kansas City Chiefs, even the Chargers and then the Seahawks, if they retain Russell Wilson, I think that Washington's just gonna have to get lucky or put on a lot of pressure on the blitz. Uh, they'll probably be taking losses, eating losses in those games, but that could leave them with a nine and seven record, a little bit better than last year and possibly provide them a path to a deeper playoff run. And if the defense is gonna be their path to victory, someone else they could be targeting in the first and second round is Nick Bolton out of University of Missouri. This guy looks absolutely fantastic. A lot of people are comparing him to Roquan Smith. He could provide some linebacker depth for them. Um, or just be a breakout starter. So look to this defense to be a top uh, contender in 2021 and possibly get these guys into the playoffs just based off of their defense alone. And obviously the last thing we'd want to look at is their front office and culture. Uh, Daniel Snyder actually may be on his way out here. An NFL investigation into the football team reportedly recommended that they would force Dan Snyder to sell the team in a perfect world and he'd be out of the picture. We'd have some different owners come in and you know harness guys like Ron Rivera, which is a great change that they made to add Rivera. And um, we're, we're hearing things like they won't have any cheerleaders. There's not gonna be any, those kind of distractions to worry about. And it's just gonna be a pure football focused organization. That would be the way to go in my opinion. Daniel Snyder is in the middle of this crazy scandal where apparently he's paying people to open up Twitter accounts and do damage control for the team. Just random people saying like, you know, oh yeah, we're not having cheerleaders, clap, clap, clap. This is a organization that does things the right way. It's a total smoke show. This guy's a clown. Um, once they get him out of there, I think that this is gonna be a, a great organization. And we're even seeing that they want to cement their brand, maybe get away from the Washington football team name that they used this last season. We're hearing things like the Red Wolves, uh, Red Hawks. So who knows, but this could be a total transformation for all you Washington fans out there to Felt like there's been a bit of a drought. It's time to start drinking from the Oasis. I think your team is on the up and up. Now, while I think Washington is going to be the big breakout team of 2021, I do want to say an honorable mention for me could be the Carolina Panthers. So I don't want to just leave all of these other teams out. I do think there's other teams that could have that kind of Tampa Bay explosion where they're not that great and then all of a sudden they're a contender. I'm not saying these guys are going to the Super Bowl, but you know, Carolina, they've got a great offense right now. Their offensive line is pretty decent and we'll see the return of Christian McCaffrey, DJ Moore, uh, hopefully Robbie Anderson signs a longer term deal. Ian Thomas is a great tight end. They've really got the tools. If they hold on to Curtis Samuel, they've got speed, they've got hands on offense. And then on top of that, they're probably gonna be going after a quarterback, maybe like Justin Fields or someone that they can turn into a franchise QB, you could really see Par Carolina start to, to push the envelope there. So they're going to be my honorable mention. But for this season, I think Washington is going to be a breakout team and surprise some people. Um, might be good to put in a couple of bets for them to make the playoffs. And certainly, like I said, if you are in need of a, a defense for your fantasy team going forward into this next year, please target them. I think they're going to be able to get a lot of sacks, put a lot of pressure on the teams that they're playing in this schedule and you won't be disappointed with the results. All right, with that being said, this was an episode of Fantasy R&R. &R. My name is Ryan. I will see you next time with Rob for some baseball information. That's the Fantasy with Rob and Ryan. Fantasy R&R. &R.